Hi Pisces, welcome back to my channel, Unique Tarot. Okay, if you're new to the channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button and also um, a, give me a thumbs up if you would like a personal reading. That information is down in the description box. Okay, so Pisces, we're going to see if your person is doing black magic on you and if so, why? Okay, 2-2 two, two is on the clock. So Pisces, Spirit, Guides, Angels, Universe, is Pisces person doing black magic on them? And if so, why? Is Pisces person doing black magic on them? And if so, why, Spirit, Guides, Angels? For Pisces, is Pisces person doing black magic on them? And if so, why? For Pisces, please, Spirit. Is Pisces person doing black magic? And if so, why? Is Pisces person doing black magic? All right, we have the High Priestess with the Page of Cups. So somebody could actually be a psychic here. And somebody's highly intuitive. The Nine of Swords. We have the Chariot, Can't Syrian Energy, and the Ace of Pentacles. Is Pisces person doing black magic on them? If so, why? Is Pisces person doing black magic, spirit? Okay. We have the Ace of Swords, the Seven of Cups, and then we have the Ten of Wands with the Nine of Cups at the bottom of the deck with the Star card. Okay. Okay. So... I'm not getting black magic energy right now. I'm not. We'll clarify with my other deck in a minute. But I feel like this person is stalking you, Pisces. Okay, somebody is is um, a psychic here with this high priestess and the page of cups. Page of cups is a psychic card and so is the high priestess. So somebody's highly intuitive. Somebody's very much a psychic. Okay. And I feel like, um, so you could be dealing with a Pisces or a Cancer here. All right, but with these two aces, I feel like uh, somebody wants to come in and apologize here. They feel very burdened with the Ten of Wands and Nine of Swords. Maybe because you've moved on to towards something new, maybe to an air sign or an earth sign. But the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords are something new here. Somebody um, was trying to confuse you or create confusion around you here, Pisces, but you cut through that with the Ace of Swords and the Seven of Cups. You cut through the illusions and the games. You see something for exactly what it is. And somebody here is that that's really burdening somebody because you are highly intuitive here. They can't sleep at night. They know they can't get anything past you. You're very clear here. Okay. But, but you can expect communication from someone here, Pisces, with the Ace of Swords and the Page of Cups. Somebody wants to extend something to you. They want to offer an apology to you. You could already know this. Okay. This person could also be having reoccurring dreams about you as well. This person finds you to be very, very um, intellectual, very smart here is what I'm hearing. But they want to offer you something with this Ace of Pentacles. They have a gift. They want to come towards you with the chariot card. They want to get in their car and drive towards you and give you something here. But they, 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 they're just very nervous about doing so. They're losing so much sleep. They find you to be their wish fulfillment here. The Nine of Cups and the Star. Somebody is also could be an actual star, a psychic. Okay? They could do this online. Okay? A seven of Cups could be online to me. Something that you do online. It could be like a, a, a YouTube or a podcast. Anything. Any platform. Okay? Someone speaks on this platform for a living. And they're very good at what they do. Very, very intelligent here. Okay? And they're sought after as well. They could be a psychic online with these two cards coming out together. But they're definitely a star, okay, with the star card. Highly influential, very much sought after, okay? It could be a tarot card reader too as well with the page of pentacles. That's a tarot card, okay? And a psychic that they do online here. But somebody is feeling really very burdened. They work very hard as well with this ten of wands. They upload a lot to their channel or whatever they do with this Ten of Wands and Seven of Cups. They upload a lot. They work very hard on their craft here. 
and it's very important to them. But somebody, you're somebody's double wish here with the nine of cups and the star. Okay. And if any of you are, any of you are wishing for anything, go ahead and make a wish. Because with these two cards coming out, you have three wishes like a genie in a bottle. Make your wishes and they will come true. Okay, we do have the Ace of Pentacles here and the Ace of Swords. So those are gifts from the universe. You see the hands coming from the universe? So whatever you wish for will come for you. Okay, because you're following your North Node here with the Ace of Pentacles. That is your North Node. You're working hard. You're doing what you're guided to do here. And that's being a psychic, a tarot card reader. And you're growing in fame and recognition. Okay, Nine of Cups is a lot of abundance around you. Great things happen around you. That's fun and free and lively and people love you, okay? If you're single, you enjoy being single. You, you don't feel lonely. You feel like your life is great, comfortable. You feel very, very much blessed, and you are. With these two aces from the universe, you very much are, okay? Some of you could be purchasing a new car here soon. That could be a gift from the universe. If you're wishing for a new car, you're going to get that, all right? Somebody here, Knight of Pentacles, has been taking forever. There's slow fucking time to come towards you and make an offer towards you. But I feel like they're wanting to come in and do this. But they've took forever. Maybe too long. And now they're stressing maybe because you've moved on with the chariot to somebody new. Now they're burdened. They feel stressed out. Okay? Yeah, the Magician and the Three of Pentacles here. With the Justice and the Eight of Swords. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody around you could be going to jail as well, but you, you're going to get, yeah, with the Five of Cups, the Eight of Swords, Justice, Five of Cups, it could be a Scorpio. Definitely. Then we have the Knight of Cups. Okay. Yeah. So somebody here, yeah, that's just a side note. But somebody is watching you rise in your face, take your place in the world. Okay. You're glowing. You look beautiful. You're radiant. All right, what's the messages for my Pisces? Is anyone doing black magic on Pisces and why? I don't feel like someone's doing black magic on them now. Is someone doing black magic on Pisces and why? I feel like somebody's stressed out and wishing that, that, they, that they could come towards you here. Three of Swords could be a Libra. Okay, definitely could be a Libra with this Queen of Swords, Three of Swords right here next to each other. You have the Nine of Swords and the Ten of Swords and the Lovers and the Empress again with the Ten of Swords, the Devil, and the Ace of Pentacles, Five of Swords. Yeah, somebody definitely, it could definitely be a Libra that somebody is dealing with here, okay? Or, or this could be somebody with Libra in their chart. What's the Knight of Pentacles for my Pisces? What's the Knight of Pentacles? We have the Tower. Yeah. So somebody here has been taking their sweet time to move towards you or come towards you here. I feel like all of a sudden this person just feels like they need to speed things up. Okay, yeah, we have the Three of Pentacles that wants to come out here. Yeah, with the King of Cups. All right, somebody, this could be a, a water sign that, is, that, that has taken their sweet time to come in towards you. Yeah, we have the Queen of Pentacles with the Page of Cups. Somebody's very stable, a business owner. Somebody's building their business here. Whether if this is some kind of uh, a healer or a spiritualist or some kind of guru, somebody is is really building their business from the ground up and really taking off here. Yeah, we have the Six of Swords and the Six of Cups. Okay, with the Nine of Swords. So this person is stressed out because you've moved on. Okay, to new love. This person from your past, definitely something new. Ace of Cups, Ace of Wands. With the Justice and the Empress, it could be a Libra. Somebody is wanting to move toward this Libra energy, okay? 100%. Okay, this person works as a spiritualist, a healer, as a psychic, a tarot card reader. This person is a star. And they feel like this person is their six. Six is the person you're meant to be with, this Libra. They're very passionate for them. They're very much in love with them. They want this person's forgiveness. We saw the Three of Swords. Yeah, here we go again. A Libra. They broke this person's heart or they, or they betrayed them. They want to go toward this person. What's the chariot? What's the chariot? 
Yeah, we have the Seven of Swords and the Four of Cups and the Moon. But somebody here is a liar. They're very sneaky. They hide shit. And this person you're going towards may reject you because of that. Okay? Somebody does not tell the truth here. What's the Ace of Pentacles? What's the Ace of Pentacles? Yeah, the Eight of Swords. Somebody has a fear of moving forward here because they, they know that they, they, yeah. Here go the Empress and the Justice again. This Libra. They want to move towards so bad, but they don't know how. Yeah, Five of Pentacles and Ace of Swords. This person is a death. It could be a Scorpio. This shit is over with. The judgment and the death. So somebody wants to heal and bring something back alive that died here. Okay, they want to heal this energy here. Okay. They want to bring things back into balance here. Very heavy Libra energy here. Yeah. The Seven of Cups and the Two of Cups. Somebody's very in love with someone here. And they want to be with them. They feel a connection here with this person. We have the World and the Ten of Wands and the Ace of Swords. So they want to speak the truth to this person. They've been waiting patiently. Seven of Pentacles. We have the Devil and the Death and the judgment and the star. So, yeah. This person is coming in. Yeah, somebody's a spiritual guru here with the high font. Okay? Somebody speaks out for a living, but somebody wants to put an end to this no communication. It's really burdening them. Yeah, with the ten of wands. Somebody wants to move on and move forward here. Because this person is highly influential online. Okay, lots of likes, comments, and subscribes. They're unhappy in the situation that they're in. I don't really feel black magic going on here. I just feel like somebody wants to come out of no communication with this 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 psychic, this tarot card reader online, this star. This this is their double wish fulfillment to be with this person, to be in communication with this person. They feel very stressed out. Nine of Swords, Five of Swords. I mean, Nine of Swords, Five of Pentacles. But this person was maybe in the past, this person with the Six of Cups was a liar. They hid a lot of secrets here and they feel like they're going to be rejected by this person. So they're confused as to how to come forward toward this person. They have fears because they know this person is highly intuitive. They might also be intimidated by how this person is a spiritual guru. With the higher font and the high priestess of page of cups and page of pentacles. They know this person reads tarot. They know this person is highly intuitive and very psychic. And not only are they, but they are guru at what they do at what they do. They know this person can see through their bullshit with the ace of swords. So these seven of swords and moon energy, they know they can't come with that. Give me one card for my um Pisces, please. One significant card for Pisces. They know they have to come correct here. I did see the devil and the moon in the tower, so they could be doing some kind of spell to get somebody to um come back, but it's not going to work. Too many tens of swords is here. It's going to backfire. Too many tens. This person is going to go right into the arms of somebody else. This person, I feel like they're desperate to get this person back, and they're so desperate that they're, they're, that, that they're fucking up. Because this this person knows what they're doing. This person is intuitive. They know what they're doing. So they're going to reflect that shit back on them. Yeah. Okay. So we have get the get the ugly cry on. Let that shit go. Your soul will thank you. You need a good fucking cry. So somebody could be, be crying here. They really miss this person. It says, if you're really pissed at where you are, then stop taking yourself there. Make better fucking choices. Yeah, this priest person wishes that they made better choices here. Okay? They're upset with themselves because now they realize this double wish fulfillment, this person that they want to be with, this spiritualist, this star, okay, that is taking off. This tarot reader is taking off quickly with the Knight of Swords in their life. Things are working out for them. They have a YouTube channel with the Three of Pentacles here, as well as the Seven of Cups. And they're a master manifester here with the Magician card, okay? And the Justice, karma, good karma is on this person's side. They, they, they work for that shit, though. They work for that good karma. They put in that work. And they know this person is abundant and they want to go back toward this person, but they have to come correct. 
So yeah, this person can be doing moon magic or trying to, but I, I don't feel I feel like this person don't know what they're doing and all they're doing is pushing this person into somebody else's arms. So those are the messages I have for you. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, hit the post notification, and I'll see y'all next time.